Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. We are making good progress with the exploration of the third map, of the third map, so only one map is completely untouched and then we can return to the to the tower and continue with the assembly of the map wall or the map desk rather which will be super cool i'm super excited about this project so let's let's not waste any more time and proceed on proceed on with the expedition and um yeah, let's talk about a few things, but unfortunately I'm not quite sure what to talk about because, well, last weekend was super exciting, so many things have happened last weekend, and in this case I was able to dedicate the entire last episode to last weekend, but now I'm back to work, and so nothing, nothing special has happened unfortunately, which is which is a little bit sad. I'm currently about to write a new paper. The deadline is September 10th or 11th, I guess. So basically the deadline would be September 10th, but since it's anywhere on Earth, it will be September 11th or so in, in my case. But yeah, in September I will have the first week um, vacation. I'm, I'm not at work, so I'm quite sure I won't make any progress in write with, with writing the paper. So yeah, I like to finish it by the end of this month and it looks good. We are making good progress, so I'm quite confident that by the end of this month this paper is finished, polished and uh, ready to go, which which is good, which is really nice. I just hope my professor does not interfere with this project, with this plan, and in the end they... Okay, that's good, but please fix this, that and something else. So this would be a little bit problematic and pretty bad, because then I have only one and a half days left or so since my return from the vacation. But we will see. I'm confident. I'm confident that everything will work out well and yeah, th this would be good. Would be very nice. It's the only paper I like to write until I have my defense and it's, it's looking good for, for Halloween. So keep your fingers crossed that indeed I will have my defense on Halloween. This, this should be entertaining. This should be super cool. A thing I was quite surprised about is the fact that I completely forgot to schedule the basically Wednesday episode, last week's Wednesday episode. I'm not quite sure how this happened. I recorded it in time, I uploaded it in time, but for some reason I completely forgot to schedule it. And that's weird. That's you. Ooh, nice mountain range. That's completely weird because on Monday morning, unfortunately, Sunday's episode took some time to be rendered and uploaded. And so, um, yeah, suddenly it was Monday morning because I, of course, had to sleep to be ready for, for work and so on. And um, yeah, as, as I wanted to publish it on Monday morning, I was totally surprised. Hmm, the Wednesday episode was untouched. Completely untouched, it, it was... Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Minecraft, please. Ah, Minecraft, why? Okay, this means we have to walk away from this place and come back in, in a few few moments so that the boat hopefully is back again. Not yet. Chicken. So... Yeah, um, this was weird. I'm, I'm not quite sure how this happened. I, I I can't really recall. I mean, yes, I was a little bit in a hurry on Wednesday evening or afternoon as I had to 
or leave for Berlin, but but still, I, I'm I'm surprised. I'm surprised what happened there. Why, why I completely forgot to to schedule the episode. So well, you had two episodes in a row on Monday morning. Hope this was entertaining for you. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a thing where, where I'm super surprised. Why why how has this happened? This this is weird. This is super weird. This boat situation also is super weird, but at least the boat is now there, now back again, so this is good. Ali, yup. Um, one thing, another thing I'm often surprised about is the way how you, how your body gets accustomed to changes or to conditions and how it reacts to those things when those conditions are no longer met. In particular I'm talking about summertime and um, being active, so doing sports, because for my friends when we go together to the gym or so it's always a thing like, okay, we don't like to, but we really want to because we know that movement and, and activities are good for us. So it's more like, okay, they have to force themselves to do it. And it feels more like stress or not a pleasant thing. On my end, or the, on the other hand, was those daily activities with those daily activities and sometimes I even do sports twice a day or so it really becomes an essential thing to my body that's the thing I noticed during this weekend away situation because Wednesday morning I was swimming and the next time I who know there there are those guys again so, um, can we, oh no, there's also one of those, those, um, guys with the, with the banner. So better we, we, we just, oh no, he saw me. Better we rush just through them and, um, horror, try to avoid them. I don't like you. No, 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 please don't. Serpentine, ow, serpentine, serpentine, horror, oh dear. That's, I'm not quite sure, the, those, those pillagers are okay, but yee. Not, not really my, my favorite addition to the game. It's really an addition to the game that is rather annoying. Sure, I mean, there, there might be some interesting treasures inside of this mount, uh, mount, inside of this tower, but yeah, I, I'm not really, really interested into the situation. So let's let's just get going. Let's let's uh, keep on running. I hope they will give give up at some point, or at least they will give up once we hit some some water. You're still after me, right? Yes, you're still after me. Fantastic. Um. Yeah. So I did sports Wednesday morning, some swimming, and then there was well the the journey to the Baltic Sea to Denmark. And the next time I did some sports was Thursday, ow, Thursday afternoon, early evening or so, ow, because, no, no, I don't want you, want you to kill, I, I don't want to kill you, because you, my friend, just give me this, this curse of being something something bad or so and I don't want to be something bad so please leave me alone my friend leave me alone um, yeah, and I noticed Thursday afternoon nothing in particular happened not, nothing bad happened everything was fine but I for some reason was just annoyed so it, it was really a weird feeling not, nothing bad happened but I wasn't feeling well and I really noticed after then I was running the world seemed to be a much better place and that that's that's all the time interesting how 
much your body then starts to depend on this daily movement on this on those daily activities because um yeah i don't know it, it's it's really weird at first it's, it's really a tough thing to get going to do sports on a regular basis but as soon as you cross the certain threshold and you're doing it on a regular basis it really becomes an essential thing and when it suddenly when you're suddenly not doing it something feels wrong and that's weird that, that's super weird but yeah that, that that's you know that, that's also true with with the summertime as you know i'm more a winter person so i do i dislike hot temperatures warm temperatures summer temperatures but since this region where i live in is quite bad in this regard so it's it's always super hot and um we have so many days with temperatures way above 30 centigrade that you just at some point have to accept it and um yeah when I, when i'm just wait long enough basically after the first heat wave or so it becomes no longer really a huge problem so then suddenly a 30 centigrade are okay and 26 centigrade feel not cold hey stop that stupid spider um Yeah, those, those temperatures suddenly feel feel okay and no longer hot. hot and that, that's really interesting how the, how your body gets gets used to those environmental conditions and how how this affects you when they change or so. Because yeah, I think the body is is really something that that likes to hmm, that ha that that likes to have something persistent or so and uh, as soon as you do have changes things things are weird so yeah i don't know i, fi I find it just interesting to observe this myself on myself and that that's cool and i'm i'm interested what do you think about it do you have made similar observations or so or can you easily adjust to, to certain things I mean, sure, I can adjust to certain things easily, but I mean those those things like sports or temperatures or so something that could be a little bit more substantial. So, so yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's it's really a weird thing. And another weird thing is, as you know, I just said it. I'm a winter person, so I'm always looking forward to winter time. But this year. This year something is different. This year, I mean, now when I get up in the morning to go swimming or do sports, do whatever, I get up at 5.30 and until a few days it was bright outdoors when I got up, but now I suddenly have to switch on the lights. and. This is super weird because, well, it's not super weird. I mean, Earth is orbiting around the sun and the axis of the Earth is tilted, yada, yada, yada. That's nothing surprising. I find those gravel mountains surprising, though. That, that's cool. Um, but it's, it's more the fact like ha huh. the summer is really coming to an end soonish well based on on the last few years i guess it, even fall will remain super warm and super hot and so on so i don't think that winter is really coming uh that summer is really coming to an end but uh i think we are stuck here it's a little bit unfortunate well i guess i have to do this get the gravel put it there and we do hopefully have a beautiful view oh yes we do have a beautiful view over to those icebergs that's fantastic that's cool 
Wow, I like it. I also like all those, those kelp things down there and what's there. This seems to be also something like a like a thing. Um underwater structure situation, but look at this. This looks cool. This looks really like like a great great place to to spend your summer or so. Go, go swimming on a regular basis and so on. But um, ooh, this was exciting. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's suddenly dark, and I think hey, summer is coming to an end. Maybe it's because of all this cycling during the summertime, and I really had something that which was fun even during very hot temperatures during the those heat waves going cycling was always a thing and I this might sound it sounds really weird to me when I say it now but I think I started to like the summer and uh, <laughs> that's that's a thing I, I haven't experienced yet in my life so why am I suddenly enjoying summertime? That's so weird. Why? How? How has this happened? How? How? How has this happened? Why? 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 I'm... Ooh, spooky noises. Maybe I'm cursed or so, but... Yeah, I suddenly start to enjoy the summer and I even feel a little bit sad that it comes to an end, so... Suddenly, I understand all those other people that say, oh man, it's, it's sad that summer is over. And normally I'm like, I, I'm still, I'm looking forward to all the other seasons. But right now it's it's really like the feeling, ha, huh, summer is, is not not so bad. No, 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 oh no, oh no, Minecraft, why? Ah, good, good Minecraft, very good Minecraft. So... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not quite sure if you can can relate to this, but to me, this, this is super weird. I mean, all the time I was against summer, and now this year, this year, everything is different. Everything is so... Everything feels so much lighter, so much easier, so much less stressful and suddenly I enjoy the summertime. I, I'm not, I don't even know what has changed. Of course, yes, I know I submitted the thesis, but I submitted the thesis, well, I submitted it shortly before the the heat wave started. So maybe it has something to do with that, but it definitely has something to do with that because otherwise I think I might have been way more annoyed by the summer again or so. So maybe it's really an effect of having submitted the thesis and having the feeling of I'm free, or well, not, not free, but it's it's done, it's complete. And still, I think there's more to it, and I'm not quite sure what this more to it is. Because, sure, I do cycling, and that's cool, and I really enjoy it, and also with all this, the sports, maybe it's also because of the triathlon situation that I really enjoy those events and that I now connect those events with summer and that I had had a blast participating in two triathlons and that this maybe makes this summer super special that I suddenly you know I suddenly think okay summer is cool summer is nice I don't know it's it's really a thing I observed recently and I can't really explain it it's just just a weird feeling, so maybe you can you have similar experiences or you you have some other explanations. I don't know. It's it's really an interesting thing. It's a it's a cool thing to observe. It's also a cool thing, yeah, to consider and to think about that suddenly I'm sad that summer is coming to an end and I mean we still have two weeks of summer left or so or even more weeks but maybe it's also because I did a lot of outdoor swimming I don't know so 
The bottom line is I enjoyed a summer. I did a lot of summer activities and all of them were great and I really had the, the feeling of okay summer is annoying. So yeah, don't know, don't know. Just just wanted to share this this insight with you. Not quite sure what what the benefit of it is. If you can benefit from this, but yeah, here we are. Here we are talking about all those things. And that's the beauty of the uh, of the coffee break in Minecraft because we can we can talk about all those things here. So yeah, speaking of the um, weekend away situation, because of those this idea of hey let's let's get to the Baltic Baltic Sea and let's get to uh, Denmark. I of course had to bring a few more things. Well, I, I really packed my backpack to its limits for the train ride. And I really think I need yet another backpack. I mean, I do have so many different kinds of backpacks and situations where I can put stuff in. But I do have the feeling I need also a larger one, a really large one where I can fit in a lot of things because this train situation Aside from the fact that the train always is delayed and always causes problems, it's way more relaxing than driving by car, especially for, for a weekend. I mean, for an entire week or so, when I stay a little bit longer at my parents or somewhere else, traveling by car could be could be better because it's easier to load up the car, to put all those things into the car. But for train, the backpack is quite easy because I, I can just stuff things in and it's easy to carry and it's easy to um get yeah, to to transport and when you have to change trains and so on you you don't have so many issues so yeah i i might need a larger backpack so something like like a hiker's backpack or something who's who's traveling who's doing backpacking or so i think i have to investigate this and find maybe a decent one that i can really transport all the things maybe i right now i do have sometimes two bags so one bag for my laptop and one bag for my my personal other things maybe i can then just fit everything into one bag and just have to carry one thing with me this could be also a little bit easier need, re really need to investigate this really need to figure out how those those things work and speaking of backpacks Ooh, skeleton guy. Speaking of backpacks, I for for cycling and maybe even for running, I got one of those um Ooh, a village. Oh no the oh dear, are they are they under attack? This is some kind of castle like village? looks interesting you have something to explore next time I guess Ooh, there's even a buried thing pyramid we also have to investigate this one why is only this thing looking out of the oh this other thing could be there that's interesting cool that, that's really a great place to to end this episode but um, 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 oh yes, um, for for cycling and maybe even running, I got one of those runners backpacks. Those super super small things. I think it's oh hi. Just has the size of five liters or so, so it's really a small one. But it has good straps, easy straps. Um, so it's super light. I can fit in a few a few things. I need some some snacks or something to drink. My my keys, and it's quite comfortable. I, I can really recommend this. Those uh, those backpacks are also used from people who do ultra mar marathons and so on. So really long distance running. And at first I was a little bit yeah put off because I thought this is not comfortable. But after I did this, I used this for cycling. I must really say hey. This thing is super comfortable. I can really recommend it. So if you if you get into running, if you get into cycling, long distance cycling, if you just need something super small to carry your your belongings, just investigate those those backpacks. 
So, yeah, just, just, just a random side note. And with this, we are now at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will be joining me next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, my name is Seppi. See you. Thank you.